Nessa Sunshine here. Today we are getting into a how-to on how I do a matte winged eyeshadow. So if you are interested in getting more matte winged eyeshadows in your life, subscribe to my channel and then let's keep on going into the how-to. I do my winged eyeshadow. My brows and my base are done. This is the new Nabla matte collection. This is the color Verve. This is just for that Morphe Eye Credible brush set. And this brush is actually very helpful in blending. It's very fluffy. And then what I'm gonna do is think about my eye. <laughs> <laughs> when blending out eyeshadow in any any eyeshadow look you do, you'd want to consider your eye shape, your crease, where your crease is. You want to consider what space you have to work with. There's all kinds of things to consider. This is just how I do it, but again, everybody's eyes are different. So consider your eyes, starting at the lower outer corner, and I'm going to start to press it up. You can see I'm starting to press it up at an angle. Now, depending on your eyes, again, don't bring it up too high if that makes you feel uncomfortable or if it's not flattering to you. You don't have to bring it up as high. You can bring it up lower. But I would suggest to bring it up slightly above where your eyelid is going to crease. After directly pushing it in that outer corner, I'm going to start to slap my brush and then press it in the crease or above the crease area. Use my brush at a slant and in the crease, above the crease area of the eyelid, press. Press it over. So I'm not going to bring it all the way to the brow, but I'm going to bring it a quarter of the way. Now that I have it sort of pressed in the shape that I want it. I'm gonna start to use the same brush and blend it a little. So I'm gonna use some swiper motions and my brush is at a slant as I blend so I'm just blending like this. Start to blend on the brow bone area and I'm going to start to wing it by moving back and forth in swiper motions, taking the bottom and winging as well. So we have this shape happening and we're just gonna keep blending. I'm no longer slanting, I'm going straight on. This is like the tapered pointed brush from the Morphe Eye Credible brush set. That clean brush, I'm gonna take that on the outside and buff and then I'm also taking it here and buffing as well because I really want a point. If you don't feel comfortable having really deep and dramatic eye makeup then I would leave it here. If you want to continue to build with that same color you can and if you want to continue to build with a deeper color then let's continue to build. I'm taking the Morphe Eye Credible brush that is, it's like the shorter tapered brush and it's a little thicker. Cherry shape, like the name, Sherry, but it, Cherry, I don't know, it has a little asterisk over the E or like a little mark. I don't know what that means, but just gonna dip this right into the pan and I really wanna pack on that color. Bring it here in that outer corner area and I'm gonna start to blend back and forth first in swiper motions and at a slant. This is like the beginning of the quarter of the eyelid. Pretend this is one, two, three, four. So it's in between the third and fourth quarter of the eyelid if you could imagine that. I'm going to move that into that wing, adding more in the very outer corner, or the outer quarter, which is the corner. And I'm just blending in swiper motions right now. And then I start to move in like some what circular motions, bringing it up. Really emphasize and focus on that outer half of the eyelid. And I wanna start to flip it up. I feel like the bottom of the brow bone and then I bring it, kind of flick it up with the eyeshadow. So I'm taking that same color, that deep like, I don't know what color that is. And patting it in that lower eyelid on that outer corner. I'm going back with that clean brush, that like tapered brush. I'm just going to take that a little bit into that color. I like to go back and forth between brushes. Sometimes I don't feel like I need to, but this is something you can do as well as you work with shadow. Right now I'm going into the crease and blending out and blending it over, buffing up, buffing out, whatever you want to say. This, this area of the eyeshadow. And now I'm going to go back into our other brush. I want to really add that onto the lid, taking it on the outer corner and bringing it forward. I'm kind of patting and blending, so I'll show you what that is. Pressing it and then I'm blending it out. Pressing, blending it out, pressing, blending. This is something else I do besides doing the swiper motions and the circular motions, tiny circular motions, large circular motions. I do a lot of patting, direct patting, and then um, patting and blending. Taking more of showy shape, patting on that lower corner. I really want to intensify this, bring it up a little bit. Now I'm doing swiper motions. So you can go back and forth. It doesn't have to be like, oh, let's work on this one area and keep working on that and then we're, we're done. That can happen or you can just go back and forth, back and forth with your blending brushes and work out. If you have the time, if you don't have the time, you can just do a quick swoop quick blend. It doesn't have to be this detailed, but let's keep going. Now that I've patted it and blended it and really built it up in that outer corner, take that clean blending brush and our original color Verve, swirling it for this one, take that color Verve on the top, blending, you know, in swiper motions at a, at a tilt, blending 
back and forth. I like to, personally for me, I like to bring up the shadow close to the brow, but you don't have to if that feels like too much. You can do it lower if that feels more comfortable for you. With more shelly shape, we're going to add that to the outer corner. Moving in that same technique of tilted brush back and forth in swiper motion. So adding more showy shape to the outer corner, flicking it up, flicking it out. And then I'm going to start to bring it in circular motion in the crease area here, above the crease. Remember, consider your eyelids and where it's best to apply on you. So this is called coconut milk, which I love coconut milk. It's delicious and nutritious. So coconut milk. We're gonna take our original brush and just clean it off, swirling it. Start in the inner corner, patting and then pressing. So I'm like pressing in and patting out. And then you can take a look at the eye and then decide, does anything need to be more blended? Did I blend to my heart's content? So just so you can see, I'm gonna put dramatic eyelashes on for this. Yarzabeth Lotus Lashes, they are long and luscious. So you guys go ahead, work on your other eye. Feel free always to pause the video if you're ever doing a tutorial with me and work on whatever we're working on that moment and then continue on and We'll do the other eye off screen right now, so pause, and then we'll come back together and do the lower lash line, and that kind of helps us connect to make that wing more. And voila, we have our face makeup on. Our lip, by the way, is it's a mixture. <laughs> so it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Trouble Liquid Lipstick, and mostly Sunscape Lip Gloss, then Estella Lip Gloss. The lower lash line, I'm going to go into that Shelly shape. I'm going to use this BH Cosmetics. It's from the Signature Rose Gold set, and it's just a flat brush. Taking that right into Shelly's shape, putting it on the lower lash line outer corner, and I'm going to connect it up into the wing, and just lightly with very light touches blend upward into that wing. And by the way, when you do your face makeup, you can clean up the wing so it's more clean if you want, you don't have to. From the center, I'm gonna to start to bring it down more to open up the space in the inner corner. So now I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics Signature Rose Gold Brush number 10, it's just a pointed pencil brush. I'm taking that into my Nabla Highlighter in Wave. I bring that in the inner corner, lower lash line just right in there and brightening up that inner corner, blowing it out, bringing it up. Finish off with mascara. This is the Benefit Roller Lash. So that there completes the eye look. So this is sort of that winged out matte eye. And then it's, I like to put a bright inner corner. You don't have to do that. But I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, make sure to like it. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you are not already and comment down below. Fairies, because fairies have wings and fairies are bright and brilliant. So comment down below, fairies. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye now.